Hi, my name is Miles. Welcome to the Silly Drinking to Mixology podcast. Today I'm going to show you how to make an apple crumble. This is a really, really, really great drink. It involves a couple of cool techniques to try and use. If you're not confident doing that uh, the way I show you, just do it on a pan on a hob on the oven at home. Uh, the drink's going to be served in a martini glass, which we, as usual we're just going to chill down straight away. So just some ice, a little bit of water. And I will just pop that out of the way. This drink utilizes um, heat, or in fact fire. What I'm going to use is uh, use the fire to actually cook the apples. I'm going to use fresh apples. I've just got some regular apples from a regular supermarket. I'll chop them up, and then I'm going to cook them with a whole load of spices. Add a little bit of brandy, and then now uh, we're going to serve it some whipped cream on top. Right, first things first, we need to chop up our fruit. So, got my chopping board here. I've got a semi-red apple. What we're going to do, quarter it, take the core out. If you're not confident using knives, I suggest you just use the board instead. We only need half an apple for this, so we can use another half for another day. Okay, and it's literally very rough. If you're not Michelin star chefs, as you can see. Leave the skin on as well, it gives it a little bit more texture, I think. And uh, it means you don't have to peel the apple itself. Okay, so that, there we go, half an apple. That's that prepared. We, all we need now, a little bit of lemon zest, a little bit of orange zest, Half a vanilla pod, which has been sitting in rum for the last three weeks. Okay, we're pretty much there. Uh, we just need some cinnamon sticks as well. You don't need much when you're cooking with cinnamon, so just break off the stick, and that's pretty much you. Right, now to the actual sort of uh, making of the drink. How are we going to do this? We're going to use a brandy balloon, okay, which we're going to warm up using some boiling water. It's going to help sort of um, make the alcohol in the drink a little bit more volatile and make sure it burns a lot, a lot, lot easier. Once that's warm to the touch, okay, we're going to pour the remnants of the water back into our little teacup and we're going to be able to rest our brandy balloon on the teacup like so. Okay, it just means it's got a nice safe platform, it means you don't have too much contact with the brandy balloon. We need to add all our ingredients first, okay, so we'll leave the citrus to last but we'll add our vanilla pod, cinnamon stick, Half our apple, you can add some cognac, you can use brandy, you can use cognac, you can use apple brandy, the choice is yours. I prefer to use cognac because it's got that real sort of Christmassy cake sort of uh, aroma and flavour to it which is going to help some tie in with the actual flavour of the drink. Um, I'm going to use some Ray and Nephew, now this is 63% ABV, um, so it's really really high. I'm going to use that to just kick things along a little bit. So it's just a wee dash. It has a very, very powerful flavour. Lovely, but powerful flavour. So literally half a shot. Right, everything's pretty much ready to go now. Okay, so we're going to place everything onto our teacup. We're going to get our lemon zest. Give the brandy balloon a little, little turn. Like so, what's going to happen is it's going to draw air into the brandy balloon, mixing up or the alcohol, which means it's going to combust relatively easily. So we're going to flambe, first of all, the lemon peel in there. And I'm going to flambe an orange peel in there as well. Okay, give it a nice up. There we go. So what that's doing now is it's cooking away. The cinnamon's acting like the nether bean is going to start to break up, releasing its seeds. By actually cooking with alcohol as well, you actually get a uh, very, very different flavour to you just using muddling fresh apples and just some cognac or some brandy instead. Um, I'm actually going to have to add in a little bit extra sort of brandy just to a little bit more alcohol. Okay, we're still burning, still cooking away. There's a lovely aroma now of just lemons, oranges, vanilla, a little bit of cinnamon as well. Okay. Let that go out, just give it a little swirl and pop that to one side. Remove everything else out of sight. 
And now we're going to muddle all our ingredients together. Okay, so they're quite literally, everything goes in there. All the apples are nice and warm, they're nice and soft. I specifically chose quite a ripe apple on purpose. It's just going to help the cooking, uh, speed up the cooking process a lot more. Another shot of uh, cognac goes in. Again, we'll just give that a quick muddle. Just to bring out the flavours of the cinnamon, the vanilla, and break down the apple as well. Add our ice. And uh, give it a nice big shake. Cold, a quick taste. Just check to see if it's balanced. We haven't had any citrus or any sugar. And it is going to be quite tart because of the apple, so dash of sugar. And just a wee dash of lemon juice brings out the balance of the drink. Quick turn of the wrist, gives it a nice little mix. Doesn't it means you don't have to reshake. By reshaking, you're going to incorporate a lot more water into the drink. So, very, very simple. We're going to use our double strainer again. Pour that in. You can actually see all the lovely vanilla pods on the surface of the drink. Next, this is uh, kind of the garnish of the drink. It really, really livens it up. This is a dessert style drink. So, got some whipped cream here. You are doing this in front of guests or in front of a camera. Always spray off a little amount just to make sure it doesn't come out uncontrollably. And then quite literally, fill up the glass. What I've got here is a rather famous brand of uh, ginger biscuits. Just go over the top. And then 